Last year, the Volkswagen Group had planned on investing $200 billion into new EV factories and into new EV production. Now the group is saying, well, they're admitting that there is a crisis. $200 billion is no longer being invested in EVs. EVs are being put on the back burner. And this is a terrible move from the group that will unquestionably cost them sales in the near term and in the long term. The Volkswagen Group announced a week or two ago that it was going to pause most EV production of new cars, development of new EVs. The Volkswagen Golf EV now has been postponed until 2029. That is insane. We're seeing record EV sales this year, 20% increase world, worldwide this year. And the Volkswagen Group, instead of recognizing that reality, they're saying, you know what? We're pausing development of most of our electric cars. Make no mistake, looking at the sales numbers, Volkswagen is absolutely in a crisis. The group is in a situation, I believe it cannot win. And if you look at their sales this year, so far they're down this year, but it's gonna get much, much worse over the next six months of the year. If I could potentially short a company right now, I would definitely consider doing it in this situation. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't just mean the Volkswagen Group. The Volkswagen Group and Porsche are both in as much trouble as each other. In the first half of this year, Volkswagen's EV sales worldwide went down. In fact, they actually went down by exactly 4,400. So 4,400 less means not a huge fall, but it does mean less than last year. Now, many people would say, well, that's just because electric car sales have gone down but they haven't. EV sales have actually increased worldwide by 20% this year. Now, what this means is that Volkswagen as a group are losing market share and sales in China. In fact, Volkswagen sales have gone down by exactly 19.6% in China. Let's just round that up to 20%. The sales have gone down by 20% in China. Now, a lot of people think, who cares? China doesn't matter. But historically, the Volkswagen Group makes 50% of its profits and 40% of its sales in China. If what happened to Jeep and Mitsubishi were to happen to Volkswagen, and uh, to be honest, it's sort of happening as well to Hyundai and Kia, if that were to happen to the Volkswagen Group in China, well, they would lose half of their profits and 40% of their sales. Now, I'm not saying it will happen, but that is where things are kind of going. And that would mean that Volkswagen would not be able to pay back the $190 billion it has in debt. That would be a big problem. I mean, they are not there yet, but this really could happen at some point in the future. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Guys, I know a lot of people are going to react to what I've just said there. They're going to say, people who love the Volkswagen group, Volkswagen brands are going to say that I'm just talking nonsense. I'm just talking garbage and this is all just ridiculous. But remember, those same brand fans existed when BlackBerry was a, a phone company. Those same people would have said the same things. If you had told someone who loved BlackBerry phones, BlackBerry is going to cease to exist, they would have thought you were mental. They would probably, you know, some, some people might have even punched you in the face. They're so emotional about what they, the things they buy, the things that they invest in. They can't handle it. What about Kodak? So many people were just so dependent on Kodak and they love Kodak. Well, all those people had a bit of a Kodak moment, didn't they? Volkswagen deliveries in China fell by 20% in the second quarter of this year. The German car maker Volkswagen delivered fewer cars in the second quarter than a year ago. Significantly fewer. This is worldwide, by the way. Volkswagen delivered 2.2 million cars across all group brands worldwide between April and June. That is 4% fewer than in the same months last year. The global car market this year has actually increased in size compared to last year. So what that means is Volkswagen is losing market share, not just in China, but worldwide. Audi and the Chinese market in particular had a pretty terrible uh, result. Sales at Audi fell by 11.3%. Volkswagen lost only 5.2%. Skoda, Seat, and Cupra, they actually grew. Now I'm talking worldwide here, not China because everyone, all these car brands actually lost sales in China. Business is weakening in China though, and that's what's reflecting these Audi sales. Traditionally, Audi sells a lot of cars in China, but of course, a lot of people in China are like, why would I buy an Audi? I can get a, a new Neo, I can get a, a Xiaomi SU7, I can get so many, I can get a new Zika 001. Why, would I, why am I buying an Audi instead of those cars? It doesn't make sense. 
and they'd be right. Business is falling, therefore, in China. And we've been saying this, I've been saying this on the channel now for years. Over the past three years, 20% fewer vehicles were delivered there. As announced, we have deliberately prioritized sustainable value creation over higher volumes. Where have you heard this before, right? In the very intense competitive environment in China in order to achieve our long-term strategic goals, said Audi sales director Hildegard Wertman. Now, there were reports, guys, last year that um, many, many dealerships across China shut for legacy automakers, and that includes Audi, BMW. There were also reports that Audi was offering uh, its employees in China 50% discounts on its cars, in particular on its EVs. By contrast, sales in Western Europe actually increased by 5%. But because of the big slump, though, in China, uh, the group sales worldwide are down. And think about it. Well, North America, their sales increased, increased by 10.8%. Unfortunately, though, their EV sales fell. But regardless, guys, you can really see here how the Chinese performance has dragged down the Volkswagen Group's market performance worldwide, even though they've increased uh, sales in Europe and the United States. Volkswagen is saying for 2024 as a whole, we continue to expect a slight increase in global delivery. So they're down 4% to jump back to being above 4%. That means their slide in China has to stop here. But I don't think it will, guys. What do you think? The Volkswagen Group is saying it will. They're going to increase their sales so much that they'll actually sell more cars worldwide this year than they did last year, even though they're down 4% in the first six months. That to me seems extremely unlikely, especially considering the Volkswagen Group actually relies more on China in the last six months of the year than in the first six months of the year. The Chinese car market is very different to the US and European car markets. In the US and Europe, you don't get this big spike and you don't get this big slide. In China, the first six months of the year normally represent only about 35% or even 30% of car sales for the entire year. That means 65 to 70% of all China's car sales come in the final six months of the year. And that would mean it's likely the Volkswagen Group sales will actually go down worldwide. I think the Volkswagen Group know this as well. They have to, this data is very, very obvious. There was a dip in sales of EVs for the Volkswagen Group. In the first half of the year, Volkswagen delivered 317,000 EVs worldwide, 4,400 less than in the same period in 2023. And that's a big problem because China now 50% of all cars being sold in China for the last couple of months, 49% to be more exact, have been EVs and plug-in hybrids. And many people believe that number could hit 60% by the end of this year and 75% next year. Now that would mean the Volkswagen Group would, well, lose more sales and more market share in China. And it would mean that their future is definitely very much up in the air. I'm talking long-term, not next year, but look into the future. Look 10 years from now. What do you do if you're a company? You've got $200 billion in debt and most of your factories, 90% of them are producing internal combustion engine cars, which are not the future product of the automotive industry. Let me know, guys, what you think about this in the comments. Thanks for watching.